Hi everyone, I am so excited for today's video, uh, mainly because I finally have with me the Electric Pearl Meteorites from Guerlain. Now, as a disclaimer, um, this was released in 2018, so this is practically not available on their website anymore or in some retailers. Now, it is because of this status that it's no longer available. I was um, initially not planning to create a video for this, but you know, um, because I'm just so excited about it and after all this is a makeup um, channel I was planning to do some swatching and comparisons anyway so I thought that maybe it would be better for me to do that and to share it with you guys because it's just more fun that way now as a brief background the electric pearl meteorites um, was released um, in celebration of the 190 years that Guerlain has been around so um, this was released in I think I'm not sure um which month this was released in 2018 but i got wind of this like towards the end of 2019 and um, i was very very intrigued by it because practically um it's actually one of the warmest um guerlain meteorites um, that i have seen in the market and i have always been in the lookout for these type of meteorites because truthfully the uh, permanent collection of meteorites is actually very very light in color and um, it's not as warm as this so that's practically the reason why i was looking around for this meteorites now if you've been wondering i actually saw this meteorites for sale at strawberrynut.com now it's very similar to sephora it is a personal care makeup skincare perfume um, retailer which is based from hong kong now i actually saw this i think around march and it was only a few weeks ago that um, shipping has started to be active again around Southeast Asia so that's the reason why I only got this a few days ago so I'm very very grateful because I have actually been looking for this for a really really long time and it was not available here in retailers here and I've seen like last week I checked this out on the Guerlain website but for the France region and it was still for sale there but it was like um there was a label on top of it and it said like end of season so I checked it again this morning um before I uh, recorded this video and it was no longer available on the website so if you guys are interested um if you've been on the lookout for the electric pearl meteorites i think it's still available on strawberrynut.com and there are very limited stocks available so go check it out if you want to um see it for yourself and let me say also that strawberry nut actually ships worldwide so what are you waiting for now if you've seen my other girl on meteorites video um the first one that i ever posted it was a review of the permanent collection and i also showed you guys my mini collection of girl on meteorites that i had available with me and um i was talking about a specific uh, meteorite collection called terracotta summer stones now that terracotta summer stones were actually my peg and it's one of my most favorite products from the girl on meteorites um, line. It's one of the warmest bronze colored meteorites that I have seen and I have actually been a lookout for something similar to it um, for the past few years now but it never really came about. Not until I saw the electric pearls again so I was very very intrigued by the electric pearls because of that and I just really wanted to have it. Especially that I've already retired my terracotta summer stones meteorite and I don't use it for work anymore because it's way beyond its um, expiration date. So it's always better to be safe than sorry when you're using cosmetics beyond its expiration date. Because you know, if you get blemishes from using expired cosmetics, it takes a while for your skin to heal. Okay, for today's video, I'm actually going to use the um, electric pearls on my skin and i'm also going to see how it looks like on my skin and how it registers and i am also going to do some comparisons between the warmest um girl meteorites that i have here in my collection today so i'm gonna flip my camera over so that we can have a visual inspection of the electric pearl meteorites and it's going to be much more easier for us to compare the electric pearl meteorites to my terracotta summer stones and to my dore meteorites so hang on Okay, so this is the Electric Pearl Meteorites. Now, they come in the same box as the Permanent Collection Meteorites comes at. So it's still with the same pink box. Um, the only difference is that it says here Electric Pearl. And it also says here that it's the limited edition for the 190th anniversary of Guerlain. So as you can see here, um, it comes in a tin. 
and it's now in gold it still has the same scallop design as you see in the permanent Guerlain Michelites collection um, but what you have here on the lid is a plain lid while on the permanent collection like the doré here you have the emblem and then you also have the scallop design of um, Guerlain now if we open it as you can see here um, it doesn't come with a foam because if you've seen my last video you can see that most of the meteorites um, actually have a foam here so because of that and the fact that this actually came from Hong Kong you can see the powder um, here because all of the meteorites have actually broken up I think during shipment so I mean I don't mind that because I'm gonna use this anyway so um, so that's actually the color of this meteorite so as you can see here it has some white pearls it has some champagne pearls gold pearls and some copper pearls so this is actually a very warm meteorite but now i was a little bit skeptical um, on how warm this meteorite was going to be because i can see a lot of very light colored pearls but now that i see that the powder is actually quite warm i'm actually good with that so as you can see here um, it still comes with 25 grams of product um, it has its batch code of 8g01 so i don't know what g01 stands for but this was made in 2018 and it has a 12 month shelf life after opening okay so let's compare the pearls so this is the electric pearl meteorites and then what we have here is the terracotta summer stones from 2012 so as you can see here it's almost similar except for the fact that the terracotta summer stones has more matte chocolatey pearls and then the copper pearl here is much more deeper than the copper pearls in the electric pearl and then this is um, the doré meteorites so as you can see here, we still have the chocolatey pearl, we have the mauve pearl, the golden pearls, and we also have some of that pink and fuchsia colored pearl. So this is very, very brightening. Now let's see how this looks like. So this is an excessive amount of powder, so we can just see how it looks like in comparison to, let's say, the terracotta summer stones. okay so these are comparable swatches this is the electric pearl and this is the terracotta summer stones now although they both are very glittery and very shimmery and let me also say that i use a lot of product so that's why they look very very chunky but if you just blend it out on the skin very well it would not look this chunky and i can also see that the electric pearl is actually lighter than the terracotta summer stones it's still quite has a nice pink and gold undertone well, this one has a much more bronzy brown undertone with hints of gold so although they're similar they're still very very different okay so based on my observation of all of the stones that i see here right now um this is actually my peg so i was hoping that the electric pearl was going to be more like this but i am clearly mistaken and in seeing the pearls in front of me right now, I am very tempted to remove all the chocolate pearls from the Doré collection that I have here and transfer them all into the electric pearl because at least in doing that, I think I can get almost the same shade as the terracotta summer stones but I am stopping myself from doing that because this is a limited edition collection and if this was still available at the market today, I would gladly buy another one and buy myself another Doré on Guerlain Meteorites collection and mix them together without the other colored pearls. But I wouldn't want to do that because I'm just gonna end up wasting the products in front of me right now. Okay, so these are my warmest um, meteorites that I have in my collection at the moment. Okay, so now I'm going to flip my camera over and let's see how well they apply on my skin.
Okay, now before starting this uh, part of my video, I actually applied some foundation, concealer, and powder um, before recording because I want to see how the Electric Pearl Meteorites will sit on my skin. Now, I'm also planning to do some comparisons between um, the Electric Pearl um, to the Dore Meteorites and to my Terracotta Summer Stones because after all, as I've said earlier, the Terracotta Summer Stones is actually my basis for how warmth I want my skin to be. Now for my foundation, I used a matte foundation because after all, the meteorites are a bit um, illuminating so we don't want to have too much of an illumination going on. And I also used some powder and some concealer. And for my concealer, I used just a little bit under my eyes and I used powder to set everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use um, the electric pearl on this part of my face. So let's just swirl the product a bit and let's see how well it sits on my skin. Now this is a very illuminating um, meteorite from the get-go. I can just see it here in my mirror right now. I can see a lot of um, micro glitters in this product. Now I've also read that this doesn't have matte powders, so this is going to be quite radiant. So if you're someone who has dry skin, this would be very great just to, you know, bring back the glow. And if your pores are quite visible and noticeable, um, try to avoid running this product on that part because it's just going to enhance that. Because this is just too illuminating and too glittery for that. Now, I can see here that it's very illuminating and it's actually making me look very, very dewy, which I like. Now, I'm not really disappointed with this, but um, I already knew from the get-go when I saw this on the tin and even when I saw this as on the picture first that this is not going to be as bronzy as I wanted it to be in comparison to the Terracotta Summer Stones. At least it is warm enough to use on skin tones like mine. It still has that violet scent that i love and it's making my skin look really really illuminated and i like that it doesn't have that white um, sometimes cast that you get that ashy cast that you get from some of the meteorites especially the lighter tone ones like the clair and even the medium a little bit so this is actually quite good and it works very very well with my skin tones now i also have to say that i am using natural light light now i don't have any lighting equipment behind us so this is how it looks like under natural light. So I really do love it. I wish this was part of the permanent collection though, like somewhere in between medium and the Doré, or maybe, or maybe even after the Doré. This is very, very nice. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply the Terracotta Summer Stones on this part of my face. Now let me tell you guys that before I applied uh, my foundation, concealer, and powder, I actually prepped my skin um, more than the usual because I am using um, makeup that's way beyond its expiration date. And um, I just wanted to make sure that my skin is um, prepared and protected. So I actually did, I applied some vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. I also applied a primer and some um, sunscreen before doing this, just so that I have an extra layer of protection on my skin. Okay, so this is my Terracotta Summer Stones. Let's load the brush with this and let's apply it all over. So as you can see right now, the Terracotta Summer Stones actually gave so much warmth to my face uh, without really making it look ashy. And um, this was the kind of effect that I was hoping I would get from the Electric Pearl. So I hope that you understand why uh, I like using this Terracotta Summer Stones as my peg for bronzing meteorites because it really does flatter my skin very, very well. One other thing also is that the Terracotta Summer Stones doesn't have a lot of illuminating shimmers in it. So unlike this one, as you can see here, it looks very, very illuminated and highlighted while here it looks much more subtle now i really like this it's giving me like a subtle hint of warmth on my skin which i really really love now as i've said earlier i'm very very tempted to actually mix the chocolatey pearls of the doré meteorites into the electric pearl meteorites um, because i think in doing this it might give me a similar effect 
to the terracotta summer stones that you see on this part of my face but I'm just really stopping myself from doing that okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to layer the Dore meteorites on this part where I actually laid some electric pearl meteorites earlier and we'll just see like you know how well it goes together because after all I want this kind of an effect but I don't think that we are going to get that because, as I've said earlier and in other meteorite videos, the Dore meteorite is too red in undertone. Oh, I like how they both layer together. Okay, this is workable for me. Okay, guys, I think I just created a hack today. Okay, so I am liking how the Dore meteorites actually mix with the Electric Pearl meteorites. Um, it's giving me similar effect in terms of the Terracotta Summer Stones, but this is more illuminating. And um, although it looks a little bit red to me than this one, this one really looks bronzy, but this one looks like it's giving me a hint of color. So that's because of the red pearls on the Dore. And it's also making me look very, very illuminated. Unlike the Terracotta Summer Stones, which is well-balanced, very, very subtle, but this one looks very, very illuminated. But I can see that it's quite similar in terms of the effect, and I'm actually quite surprised that they work together. I was actually just working on a hunch that maybe they might blend well together. If I would use this in the future, I would be just be very, very careful because the Electric Pearl is actually very, very illuminating. And because I added a lot of the product at this part of my face, um, it's actually making my pores stand out. So in knowing that now, I just have to be very, very careful where I place it. But I do have to say that I do like how the Doreen Meteorize and the Electric Pearls mixed together so i'm actually going to be using this two together okay so that's it for me today i hope that you enjoyed this video this is actually how i compare and how i um test out products on my skin i hope that you enjoyed the process with me and if you've been wondering how i do it this is how i do it so if you have any more questions about the terracotta summer stones the dore meteorites and the electric pearl meteorites please leave them down at the comments box below and let's have a conversation about this thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a good day wherever you are bye bye